the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We take a moment in silence, preparing ourselves for a meaningful celebration. Let us acknowledge our sinfulness and confess them before the Lord so that with a clean heart we can offer this sacrifice. Today we pray for, we seek the intercession of Saint Angela, Angelina Marici. She lived a very pious and dedicated life. As we seek her intercession, we pray to the Lord that we also grow in our faith, in our perseverance. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in what I have done and, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the Virgin Saint Angela, Angela, never fail to commend us to your compassion, O Lord, we pray, that following the lessons of her charity and prudence, we may hold fast to your teaching and express, express it in what we do. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. First reading, a reading from the letter to Hebrews. Every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently the same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of the Lord. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us. For after saying, this is the covenant I will establish with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them upon their minds. He also says their sins and their evil doing I will remember no more. Where there is forgiveness of this, there is no longer offering for sin. Responsorial Psalm. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn today with my servant. I will make your dynasty stand forever and establish your throne through all ages. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. He shall cry to me, you are my father, my God, the rock 
that brings me victory. I myself make him firstborn, most high over the kings of the earth. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for him. My covenant with him stands firm. I will establish his dynasty forever, his throne as the days of the heavens. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Alleluia, alleluia. The seed, the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 4, verses 1 to 20. On another occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A very large crowd gathered around him so that he got into a boat on the sea and sat down. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. And he taught them at length in parables. And in the course of his instruction, he said to them, Hear this, a sower went out to sow. And he sowed. Some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on the rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no grain. And some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit. It came up and grew and yielded 30, 60, and a hundredfold. He added, whoever has ear, ears to hear or to hear. And when he was alone, those present along with the 12 questioned him about the parables. He answered them, the mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you. But to those outside, everything comes in parables so that they may look and see but not perceive and hear and listen but not understand in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the seed, sows the word. They are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes at once and takes away the word sown in them. 
and those are the ones sown on rocky ground who when they hear the word receive it at once with joy but they have no roots they last only for a time then when tribulations or persecution comes because of the word they quickly fall away those sown among thorns are another sort they are the people who hear the word but worldly anxiety the lure of riches and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word and it bears no fruit but those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit 30 and 60 and 100 fold the gospel of the lord praise be to you lord jesus christ be yours and yours alone set the hearts us free is free make us lord your own my dear sisters and brothers that our sacrifice may be acceptable to god our father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all these holy sirs holy father along with this bread and wine we offer to you our very life we ask you to transform us as you transform this bread and wine into the precious body and blood of jesus we make this prayer in the name of Jesus our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let's give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for in goodness you created man and when he was justly condemned in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices be praised join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we stand before the Lord, let us offer to the Lord all our needs and pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. take a moment in silence as we have received communion or at least spiritual communion let us experience the power of Jesus within us let us thank the Lord for coming into our life let's also pray that throughout this day we live a life that is pleasing to the Lord Father, we thank you for your wonderful gift which we have received in this Eucharist. Continue to bless us so that we live a life that is looking towards heaven and eternity. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.